Hello everyone, this is Luxury PL38. Today's video, I would like to talk about the coming Louis Vuitton price increase. And there are rumors which are actually confirmed by a few reliable sources. Also by my essay that Louis Vuitton is going to increase their price. However, there are no confirmed items or style that will get the increase and also we don't know how many percent it's going to get up to. There are rumors circulating that the monogram canvas items are going up as high as 20 percent but again these are just rumors and we don't have any confirmed details of which style and by how much it's going to go up. The only confirmed details that we have is it is going to increase and there is a date that has been circulating around on February the 16th. So that's this coming Wednesday, a couple of days after the Valentine's Day. And this is going to be a first major price increase from Louis Vuitton this year, 2022. I believe the last one they did was in October. And the next video that I'm going to go on to is my entire 2021 Louis Vuitton purchase. And I'm going to show you what are these items. I'm also going to point out which are my top three items or maybe top five items purchased from Louis Vuitton in the year 2021, which was last year. So I actually purchased this, all of these in 2021. A few of them are SLG and there's a couple of the jewelry. And these are fine jewelry. They're not fashion jewelry, as in they're real gold and they are fine jewelry so i'm gonna show them all on the next screen so these are the items that are purchased in the year 2021 from louis vuitton and let's go through fairly quickly so during the beginning of the year i purchased the by the pool collections this is the tiny backpack and i also purchased the mini pochette in that stunning these are actually in leather ampron leather and um because of the price itself, it does justify the fact that it is in Ampron leather and it, it is very close to 1000 Canadian dollars. In fact, if you include the tax, it is 1000 Canadian dollars. But I love the color and it's just amazing. So this is one of my favorite purchases of last year from the By the Pool collections. And it is the Papillon trunk. And this is the monogram. It was in limited released in Canada and I was so lucky to actually secure that from my essay when it was released and I believe they are starting to produce more of these and it does come with seasonal pieces as well the papillon trunk but the original papillon trunk that was released last year is in monogram and it has a strap that is also in monogram that you can actually use it as a belt if you want to because of that little buckle that looks like a belt so this is definitely one of my frequent use bag that i used last year it is just amazing it's one of my favorite bags and it's definitely among the top three bags that i purchased from louis vuitton but if you look carefully there's only one two three four bags that are purchased from louis vuitton a lot of them are slg and after that it was the morel this is the morel that was out last year and i purchased it after the papillon i personally found that the morel it is in epiladder and it is one of the most affordable handbags from Louis Vuitton because it was priced around 2000 over Canadian dollars and that is a good price entry from Louis Vuitton especially the fact that it is in leather and it comes in a monogram pouch on the front and it does have that long strap which you can adjust for crossbody or shoulder strap and it does have that tiny little top handle as well if you choose so immediately after that is the release of this very, very adorable back charm of the Speedy. And it is highly overpriced. That goes around 1000 Canadian dollars, but it is just too adorable to miss it. So I purchased that. 
and it was the Christmas animations immediately after that. But before that, I purchased a card holder, and this is in the limited edition. As you can see, there are studs everywhere. I haven't actually got a chance to use this yet because I, I'm i just afraid of using it and one of the studs came out, which it hasn't done so and um, it's probably not as functional as an everyday card holder because of the studs, but it just looks amazing and it's definitely um, looks stunning. So after that, I purchased all the Christmas animations, the Tokyo and the London, and I purchased my Victorian wallet. So I do have the Victorian wallet now. It was on my wish list, but um, it is one of the biggest wallet from Louis Vuitton. I will do a comparison video to um, show you the differences of the wallet from Louis Vuitton and also the Japan Christmas animations and the limited editions with the Dami Azu because it's not very often that Louis Vuitton releases the Dami Azu in the mini pochette. So I figured that is definitely one of the rare collector's items that I purchased from last year. And after that, I finally purchased my first cappuccino. Although the price has just been ridiculous, it is around 7000 if you include the tax. It is around 7000 Canadian dollars now. But I always wanted to have a cappuccino in my Louis Vuitton collections. And I was so lucky to got this because of the color combinations. It looks fantastic with the handle in a darker color that you can actually use. Not, to, not afraid of using the handle because if it's a lighter color, you're just afraid of color transfer where by the fact that it is in brown, it does have that little bit of um, cushion for you to use it as a daily bag if you choose to. But this is just, this is actually Capuchin BB, no sorry, Capuchin Mini, and it is just too adorable to pass. So eventually, I purchased the Louis Vuitton Fine Jewelry. And this is the Blossom bracelet, as you can see. And the price of it is quite reasonable considering it is fine jewelry. I believe this is 2000 over. And if you include a tax, it's 3000 And I also purchased the necklace to match. And I believe they're both pretty much about the same price range. So these are my purchase of 2021 from Louis Vuitton. If you do have any questions or comments, please do so in the sections below. And there are a lot of items that I absolutely love, including the Papillon, the mini cappuccino, and this stunning mini pochette.